This is code.org and we are using enhanced for loops. Guys, I want to point out on something like this. I'm going to open all of these real quick. Choose something you're interested in. They're going to be very similar. Uh, write a method has minimum using an enhanced for loop return true, otherwise false. And here we go. Calculate average enhanced for loop call calculate to print the result. And even the ones with the theater create scene for loop pause clear. So choose one that you find interesting, but they're all going to be using an enhanced for loop. I'll go ahead and do the uh, A. Let's see what we have. The owner of Project Mercury Pastries food truck has stored the inventories for each food truck in a 2D array. A 2D array contains the following values. And like I always say with this, right? So we have three columns and three rows. And if we want to go off of index, this would be column zero, one, and two. Whoops. And then rows. Oh, no, we have four rows. So our rows would be zero, one, two, and three. But there's four of them. Okay. And now when doing uh, 2D arrays, rows come first. And we can see the data here as well. All right. So... Each row represents a unique food truck in the business. Okay. Each column represents numbers of cake, cookies, pies, respectfully. The owner wants to know if any food truck has quantities of desserts that are greater than a specified amount. Write the method has minimum. I'm heading over to the owner. <laughs> oh, yep. Has minimum. Using enhanced for loops. Return true if any food truck has quantity of desserts that are more than the parameter in min value. All right, so let me look at show me how. Let's see what tips they give us. Yes, and here they're showing us an enhanced for loop, right? Transversing with an enhanced for loop. And so let's use our resources that we know we need to utilize this. So I'm going to actually highlight it and do copy and right under where it has the description in the owner uh, .java file, I'm going to hit paste. Now let me do a bit of formatting so it's actually readable. There we go. Like this. And now, and they just have it returning false right now. All right, so what do we need to do? Has minimum, return true if any food truck has a quantity of dessert that is more than the parameter. Okay, so what is the row name? Let's go ahead and have this make sense. So each row is a food truck. So I might just say row though, row. What's the data type? These are integers, so I need to tell it int, right? So we're grabbing an int array. And how, why are we grabbing an int array in this enhanced for loop? Because each row is an array of integers that I'm not sure if it's any less confusing because of how I did that. But each array, each row is a literal array, right? It's a 2D array, each row. You don't need to do this. I'm just showing you is an array of itself with an array wrapping around all of it. Okay, so we got a row. Um, our array name, what did they name it up here? Inventories. So I could just say inventories, which is what I actually need to say. Copy to paste to that. So now we're looping through each row of inventories. Now I want to get individual integers. So I'm going to say int uh, column, right? Or value, maybe int val, because I'm getting this specific value in that column. Number of cakes. So I could say int num if I wanted to. Number, because it's number of cakes or something like that. Maybe just num. Uh, and then the row name, well, I just call my row name row. And what do we need to do? We need to figure out if there are, if each, if any food truck has, have quantities of desserts that are greater than a specified amount. Okay. So now what I need to do is right now I'm looping through all of the values. So what I need to do is check if min bow view is less than the number. So, or if number, Either way, it would work, right? So we want to know if our number is greater than the minimum value, min value, which is this parameter up here. If it's greater, what do I want to do? I want to return true, right? Because now I know that we do have a value greater than that. Returning true will stop the loops, the functions over, if we return true. 
However, if we go through all of the data and haven't found it, I would want to return false. Now, if you don't want to do an internal true, this is kind of fancy, I could do something like a boolean result equals false, maybe. And then I can say down here, result equals true. And then I just need to turn return the result. This is also perfectly correct and looks good. Okay, now call the has minimum method and print it the result. So up oh, right here we are. And I'll just do a system dot out dot print ln, I guess, and has minimum result. I don't know. We can put whatever we want there. Don't need to get too creative. And now the name of my class is my owner. And then the method. Bam. And that should go ahead and print it out. Let's see what I messed up. Oh, there we go. Oh, I needed to input a minimum. Does it tell me what it wants? No, I can do anything. Five. True. Okay. Uh, let's do 55. None of these are greater than 55. False. Cool. Looks like it is uh, working. Nothing's greater than 32. 15. Bam. And so guys, really the hardest part of this and the part that they want you to understand is this enhanced loop. Let's go over real quick what it's doing. So again, our for loop, we grab each row from inventories. We're telling it inventories because that's our 2D array. And it just knows, it assumes, oh, this is a 2D array. What is the data type? Well, the data type of a 2D array is 1D arrays of ints. So that's why we're saying, okay, look at the 2D array. And it's like, yep. And now we're saying grab integer rows because that's the contents of the array and grab a row. Now our next line, once we have that row, it is a 1D array, right? Notice there's only one box. So each row is a single 1D array with items inside of it. And then we iterate through, we loop through all of the content. So we say row, grab each individual num. And if num is greater than the min value, result is going to be equal true. And we return that. Pretty handy. Onward.